crafty friends. Happy Sunday. I'm coming on today with hashtag Stampin' Sunday, hosted by Thelma Hall and Paula at Crafting by the Pond. Hey, girls. So, when Bessie and I were at the on vacation, um, we found this Craft Consortium Candy Christmas, and I just thought it was beautiful. They only had this stamp set, so I just got this one from um, a cherry on top. Because, look at those precious little images. So anyway, the first one that I did, I embossed with white embossing. So you can see here. And I watercolored it. And y'all, if you, if you have never embossed and then watercolored, you know, if you say you can't watercolor or if you can't draw, keep in tiny little lines, this is the ticket. Because wherever it's embossed, it... It won't let the watercolor go outside the lines. <gasps> it's like magic. So, as a result, this one, because it's on white paper, kind of disappears. But, I'm going to use some of this pearl watercolor paint. Can you see that? Yeah. Um, and go around it. And it won't go past it that way. So, it won't bleed into my picture that way either. So... And I did these on craft, and this is um, Scrap Diva's charcuterie die. And I thought, how cute would that be with a big old gingerbread cookie riding around on it? So, this one was just cut out on a square. So, I went ahead and cut it out, and I'm going to do the background. And then I had this one. I did this one, and then I was like, ah, oh, that would be so cute as a little tag or even just hanging on a card, you know. So anyway, but the embossing thing is is really the ticket that I want to show you. So I think I'm going to use um, I think I'm going to use this. All right, so I'm going to squeeze my water pen in here, and actually, I kind of want to. Well, this is fine. So all you have to do. And you can wet your paper first. That's another m miracle of watercolor. If you just wet wherever you want the paint to go, it's not going to pass where it's not wet. Which is another miraculous thing. So. So, what I want it to do is add a little color so my cookie stands out better. And... I want it to be a little darker around the cookie and then kind of fade out, you know, toward the edges because that is the reason that I'm doing it is because I did white on white. And then my cookie just vanished. But this is a delicious color of a metallic watercolor. This is one of those sets that they had at... Um, Hobby Lobby on clearance, and I was like, oh, 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 yes, yes, I must try that. So, I see how easy that is. I'm just going to run my water brush around here, all over the place. Like that. See how easy that is? I mean, it practically does it for you. It just looks yummy. I w the only thing I wish was, and I have sentiments, but I wish this set would have had some sweet little sentiments with it. Because I think, um, you know, that's what I would want to put on here. And anywhere that it's darker than you want, you just add a little water and move it around like that. It's easy peasy. And you don't have to worry about the lines. I'm telling you, it's a great thing. Isn't that a fresh color? That metallic color. Look at that. So sweet. 
you can play to your heart's content. I'll make it a little darker right here. And I might make it a little darker around the edges because I think that'll make it look better. And since it has that stitching, it'll go into the stitched holes and accentuate it. And I think that's a good asset of this die. So why not accentuate it, right? And like I said, if you're thinking, oh, that's too little of a line. I'm telling you, with watercolor, all you got to do is go back over it and you can erase. Watch this. See? It's quite miraculous, I think. And I'm going to paint this uh, one that I've done on craft and show y'all how easy it is. Here we go. Isn't that sweet? With a red and white striped little ribbon right there. Precious. And you could even add some, some bling bling. All right. Let me rinse my brush out just a little bit. Squeeze it. Okay. Now, truly since um, the cardstock is already brown, I mean, we don't even have to do anything there, but just for a little extra 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 we'll go over it so it has a little contrast to the and see just slop it on there quite magical it's so windy today We went to a family get-together yesterday, and it was so much fun. Ronnie, Ronnie has a big family, and, uh, you know, my mom passed away this year, and both of his parents are gone, and two of his siblings are gone, and, um, but, like, when we first started dating and we got married, you know, I only have one brother, so... It was like, uh, I'd go over there, and it, it was like, it was always a party, and I just loved it so much. Everybody was always, you know, doing something. Everybody was always up to something. And um, it was just so much fun. And even though the Littles were with their dad, and they didn't get to go, I would have loved that. But Nick did get to go. And um, Bart went too, and we just... It was just so much fun. We just laughed and ate and ate and laughed. <laughs> it was great. It reminded me of the old days. <sighs> the good old days. Okay. Now. Um, now we're going to put some red. So we're going to do the wheels. And in the picture... I think it's kind of backwards the way it's painted of this but I'm gonna do it this way so that the red shows up more and so we can actually ac accentuate the white actually I could go over all of it and it can go down in those little holes watch this is she crazy what is she doing no no she isn't watch this boom and it's gone it's gone off the white that easy don't have to stay in the lines at all i'm just gonna slop it on there now just so y'all can see see there and then if you want to go back and add a little color to the big chunks you can or of course you can paint inside all those tiny little holes that's fine too i was just 
that was just a demonstration. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So, since my paper is not white, uh oh, I did the big marks. That's okay. I'm going to use a white gel pen to go in where the white's supposed to be. And you see how I got that on there? And it just kind of ran, climbed back off of it all by itself. It's pretty much only going to stick to the paper and not the embossing because it's like a plasticky, you know. Let's see, anything else red? Oh, yeah, these. Now, let's say green. Now, the last time I did green, I mixed this green. Uh-oh, my brush wasn't very clean. And this blue. To get the, bl the that bluish green that I wanted. Squeeze some water in this thing. There we go. I'm gonna go back over that and make it a little darker. Get in all those little cracks. Oh, it's supposed to go behind this window. Soak in a little bit. There we go. Alright. So. Get all that off. Okay. Now that's supposed to be white. So let's get a white gel pen. And let's color all this in. you love it if somebody brought this cookie to you I would I'd say oh yes this is all I see then let's see let's uh I wonder if I can do that with a gel pen get my red gel pen out of here and see if it'll dot yeah get me some sprinkles on here Yeah. 
not being as nice as my red one was. And some green ones. Tiny, what are you doing in here? You know, I'm doing a video. He's like, oh, she's talking. I'm coming in. He's a little sneakster. That's okay. I love him. <laughs> All right. So, I'm thinking that I'm needing a little bit darker. To shade some of this. Look at that. And I'm also thinking that that sure did soak up that red. There we go. going to squeeze my water brush out and try to make sure that it's clean. Then I'm going to put some of this white metallic watercolor. Maybe, it's, maybe it might not make a difference. Oh yeah, it does too. Right there. Pretty much everywhere there's white, I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of it. Now, can you see that? Oh, yes. Oh, that looks just like icing now. Oh, you know what else would be pretty? If it was covered in a real fine mist of glitter. Like with the glitter sprayer, which I do not have within my reach at the moment. But anyway, how cute is that? And you know those little gingerbreads would be cute like that. With that outline. Yep. Sure would. So, this was so much fun. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you'll try it. Because it's awesome. And it's easy. And... You can say in little tiny lines. So, y'all check it out. I will link uh, Erica's channel. I will link Craft. This is Craft Consortium Candy Christmas, and um, and I'll link Paula's channel and Thelma's channel too. And y'all join us for some stamp of fun. All right, love you guys. Blessings.